Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Scrum Artifacts. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, project management and Scrum uh, agile based uh, terminologies. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, when we talk about Scrum artifacts, we have three artifacts mainly in Scrum, uh, product backlog, sprint backlog, and the product increment. So first we shall discuss about product backlog. A product backlog is a list of all the things that are required in the product and it is a dynamic and best understood requirements for any changes to be made to the product. Product backlog owned by the product owner which consists of a list of all features, functions, requirements, enhancements and fixes that constitute the changes to be made to the product in the future releases. Typically the requirements of a product keep changing that is changes in business requirements, market conditions or technology. Thus product backlog is consistently updated to reflect what the product needs to be most useful to the target users. Next is the sprint backlog. The sprint backlog is the set of product backlog items selected for the sprint plus a plan of for delivering the product increment and realizing the sprint goal. The sprint backlog is a forecast by the development team about what functionality will be in the next increment and the work needed to deliver that functionality. <clears throat> the sprint backlog defines the work the development team will perform to turn product backlog items into a done increment. The sprint backlog makes visible all of the work that the development team identifies as necessary to meet the sprint goal. Last is the product increment. The increment is the sum of all the product backlog items completed during a sprint and all the previous sprints. At the sprint end of the sprint, the new increment must be done, which means it must be the scrum team's definition of done. It must be in usable condition regardless of whether the product owner decides to actually release it. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.